Let's get started now on putting our writing into paragraph form. So far you've been starting to think about your perspective that you want to take and you might have even thought about your introduction. But then it comes, for the, comes time for the rest of the information that you've done research on. And what we've done is we have a gathering grid and in that gathering grid we have focus questions or focus topics for that matter. And each of those kind of needs to have its own place. And in that, where you're going to find that own place is in paragraph form. It allows the reader to actually have a sense of closure on, the t on that particular topic and move nicely into something new. That's what paragraphing is. So I, here I have a document called Writing in Paragraphs, and it's located in your informative folder. So if you want to go get that and have it open now, and if it's easier for you to read and follow along, please do so. What I'm going to do is read this out loud. I have two examples, example one, example two. Both are the same exact words. One is a giant paragraph, one paragraph, and the other is broken into several. And we're going to see which one makes us feel a little bit different. So we're going to take a, take a look at these. And then we're going to decide which one would we read based on even the image. So make that decision now. Which one would you want to read? Number one or number two? Hmm. To me, it would look like I would want number two. When the first one kind of makes you feel like you are uh, like swimming underwater while holding your breath. There's no place to stop and come up for air. What a paragraph does is it gives you that uh, option to take a break. They also help organize the information. Each paragraph usually has its own topic and a central idea. So now we're going to read this passage. We're going to go ahead and read the one that actually we could take some breath and have, have a little air. And after we're done, I'm going to read it aloud once, read it aloud, maybe twice, and then I want you to think about and read it. So the second time might be you reading it yourself. And then after that, we're going to decide what each paragraph the central topic was or the central focus. Here we go. Chess is one of the oldest games around. People have played it for thousands of years. Today, people play it all over the world. Young children play it, and grown-ups play it. Chess is a battle between two armies, black and white. Each player tries to capture the opponent's king, while at the same time, protect his or her own. There are many pieces to help you. Each army has a queen, two rooks, two bishops, two knights, and eight pawns. Learning how to move these pieces can be challenging. Chess is a great game, and it's not difficult to learn. The first thing to know is, is how each of the player moves on the board and how they capture others. You'll, you'll want to know a few other things like how to defend yourself from a checkmate or how to protect the king by cast castling. Once you start to play, you'll never stop learning how to play it better. That's because there is always something to learn or invent about the, how the pieces work together. If you like playing with your friends, you might want to try in a chess tournament. The USCF, the United States Chess Fed Federation sponsors scholastic tournaments for school-aged children. At tournaments, you can get new players. Playing different players allows you to learn more strategies. If you play in a tournament, you will earn a rating that tells you and other players how strong of a chess player you are. Now that one gave me some time to actually take some, come up for some air, take a breath at those periods, take a pause at the commas, and even regain my focus at the end of a paragraph. Now obviously I think I would read example number two. That makes me feel a little bit better than example number one where it's all melded together. What I want us to do now is talk about each of the paragraphs and think about what is the focus, the central focus of these paragraphs. Push pause and Open this document up if you haven't yet, and reread this to yourself, and then for paragraph one, put the central focus, just a one or two word statement, just like you would have for your on your gathering grid with your questions. And we're going to talk about this when you get back in class.